My name is Jeremy Janis, and I'm a professional nature photographer from Colorado. My background started in painting and just hiking in nature and eventually turned into picking up a camera and becoming a photographer. My nature photography is actually a byproduct of my adventures. I'm not shooting to sell anything. I actually am going out and trying to have these very intimate, isolated moments on my own. And I actually started hiking when I was 18 in a way to deal with battling depression, anxiety, and suicide contemplation. A lot of my my hikes as well, it's actually trying to break my own psychology. So even this year when we did a 41 mile hike up Mount Whitney, uh, it's really just trying to break myself down and I'm able to bring some of those moments back with me to the world. In my mid twenties, I started going through a really rough time in my life and I called my mom, I was actually crying over some stuff I was going through. And she told me that it's okay to feel sorry for myself that day, but the next day I needed to pick myself up and go do something for someone else. And so I spent the next week drawing 20 different uh, children's characters that I donated to the Denver Children's Hospital. I actually donated uh, to four different states over the Southwest US. I donated 65 different paintings and drawings over the course of uh, like five years or so. And that's kind of what spurred me into really giving back through art and being able to touch people's lives. My favorite adventure, probably when I got my Sunrise at Lockville photo, was just because that fundamentally changed the way I was shooting. It was actually the first time I had never bought snowshoes before that. And being out there and in the freezing cold and feeling like just exhausted and the pain, it's still like one of the most gratifying things in the world to me. When I was 19, I was actually moving back home to Southern California to play football. I drove all through the night and I rolled over in my sleep and I cracked my L4 and L5. I finally found the break and I had to give up my football career. I moved back to Colorado and I was doing everything from cortisone shots to physical therapy. Nothing worked, so I finally had my back surgery when I turned 21. And uh, after my back surgery was over, my doctor went to go grab my dad and my brother, and they came back and I was coughing up blood everywhere. And I just remember looking down and seeing blood all over my chest and come to find out they actually got anesthesia in my lungs. So I was in ICU for three days. I was actually supposed to walk within two hours I didn't walk for three days, and uh, I don't think there's anything worse than watching your family um, see you on your deathbed. Um, and uh, yeah. When I was going through depression and anxiety, I don't think I really had a good perspective on the world yet. I didn't know how to handle my emotions. I, I had very manic emotions, whether that was up or down. I, definitely think uh, I had a chemical imbalance when I was younger. As I got older and really going through therapy and learning to be a little bit more self-aware, it helped a lot to develop my character and being able to handle really tough situations differently. I still have really bad lung issues. I actually uh, developed um, severe obstructive sleep apnea, so I stopped breathing about 80 times an hour if I don't have my CPAP on. When I'm up at doing a 14,000 foot peak, I have a hard time breathing. I, it's it's nearly impossible sometimes for me to keep keep going. But I think that's the perspective that you get is that you push through pain. You you uh, you just appreciate like all these beautiful little moments in life, and like that to me is a bigger part of the nature of photography than anything. Is like being able to show people moments in life that I'm able to see, and it's it's awesome to be able to share that with people. I, I want people to be like awe and inspired by the beauty of the world. Like we, we live on the most beautiful planet and in a lot of ways we're, we're destroying it now. And so I, I want people to take that step back and say, wow, look at what we've been blessed to have in front of us and actually go and enjoy those moments. Now, I think I'm very emotionally aware and uh, resilient and I can pretty much handle anything that comes at me at this point. I still have my ups and downs just like everyone else, but I don't let them really pull me into the troughs like I used to. I'm, I'm able to kind of keep more of a level head around a lot of the things that I go through. When you 
uh, have any form of heartache or pain, you, you think your life is ending and you don't really see the bigger picture through it all. You know, that's all the stuff that makes us better people and stronger in the end. And I think as you get older, you realize that my like near death experience with my back really put everything into perspective and I'll, I'll never have a moment where I feel like I'm dying again until like that's actually happening. And so for me, it's taking a bigger perspective around your entire life. I know how much inspiration I can provide through photography and that's where my focus is now. So when I changed my perspective, I actually was able to inspire the world. If someone were struggling with depression right now, I would tell them to go get professional help if they need that. Get outside, go into nature, go work out, do the, do the things that make you more whole as a person. The hard thing with depression is you do almost everything in the wrong way. You think no one understands or cares what you're going through, but there's a lot of people that do, and being open and honest about it helps a ton. I mean, I, I really do believe we're some of what we experience in life, and I've seen a lot more of the beauty in life than, than the bad side anymore, and I'm so glad for all the negative things that I've had happen in my life, because it's made the beautiful parts of my life just shine. And, and that's what I try to share with others too, you know.